We're getting a taste <laughs> of springtime, but if you're looking for a sample of summer, you can head over to Fairmount Park. That's right. For the first time, the Fairmount Park Horticultural Center will be transformed for getaway at the greenhouse. Eyewitness News reporter Pat Gallon is live from there to tell us more about it and hopefully with his legs covered, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, uh, yeah, no <laughs> shoes this morning. It's always a nice morning when you can take your shoes off, kick your feet up in the sand. Where we're at is the Horticulture Center, as you mentioned here, get away at the greenhouse. It's beautiful. I know people are always stuck inside in the winter time. And while that might not matter for today because it's supposed to be about 60 degrees, it's going to be a beautiful day. It doesn't mean you sh still shouldn't come down here and enjoy all of this. This is Mark Wilkin. Mark, good morning, my friend. Hey, Pat, how you doing? I'm doing well. So tell us what we've walked into here. It's a, it's a summer oasis. Absolutely. So this is called the Fairmount Park Horticulture Center. It's based in the Centennial Arboretum in Fairmount Park. Uh, we're excited to test and pilot our first activation in this space with different experiences in each room. You have tried this before, the pop-up exhibit, the pop-up bars. It seems to have worked pretty well throughout the city. Yeah, you know, the response we've gotten in the past from some of our Parks on Tap programs and the Oval Plus um, really inspired this new activation and inviting you know, all audiences and ages to come out and enjoy it. And what are people, what's the feedback that you're getting from these different activations? Oh, man, the first weekend uh, was incredible. Uh, we had a tons of um, folks come out each night and day to have an incredible time. Um, food, the drinks, the entertainment, uh, the games, everyone really seemed to have a blast. So we've got the beach, so we've got some sand in here. When you come in, you're going to see the beautiful greenery. What else can we see when we're in here? Yeah, as you turn to the main space, we have our lawn, oh, uh, yeah, which good. is, um, you know, Kentucky bluegrass with games, picnic blankets, cornhole, uh, connect four. So for, you know, adults and kids to play and, and enjoy, um, we have our beer garden section, uh, obviously some of the beach balls that kind of uh, animate the space. Sure. Um, and then finally we have our Moroccan lounge, uh, cozy furniture for people to kind of sit and relax and unwind as if they're away. You can bring outside food and drink here during the week. Weekends, that's a little bit different though? Yeah, during the day, during the week, we invite folks to come BYO with food and drinks. And then the evening we have uh, page to go food and drinks um, from Constellation Culinary and some of our food food truck vendors. How, yeah, what, what's the temperature in here? Because it feel, it's like 75 degrees. It feels pretty good in here. Yeah, it's pretty balmy. Uh, about 70 plus is usually how we keep it. So um, no matter you know, what time of year, uh, we try to keep it warm for the plants and for people to come in and get away from the cold. I'm not a weather man, but sometimes I play one on TV. But I know it's supposed to be a little bit chillier this weekend. Perfect time to come out. Yeah, this weekend, um, our, our final uh, you know, activation, we definitely want folks to come out. We have our zoo day with the Philadelphia Zoo and with Park nice. Zoo. and Academy Natural Sciences, so definitely check that out from 12 to 4. Um, and then we have some live entertainment in the evening, followed by our Jungle Rock recess on Sunday. Beautiful. Mark, I'm going to play a little cornhole here, and I know that people may not believe me, but I swear this is true, Trang Jim. I went four for four on these right before we went live, just before we went live. So I'll give it a shot again, but you can come out to the horse. See? Of course. You go on live TV. <laughs> And that's what happens. You miss. So come out, out to the Horticulture oh, oh, Center. Oh, oh. Close. Okay, close, but that doesn't win anything. There's one. Oh, well, not the other one. All right. All right. Okay. Not one bad, out. I'll take that. One we should come down anyway. That's a D. Yeah, one out of four. Not I'll take best. you on my cornhole team. I'll take you. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate it. Well, Gateway at the Greenhouse continues at the Fairmount Park Horticultural Center and runs through Sunday.